I've got a hot take for you. Holistic marketing systems are just better than their traditional alternatives. Stay tuned if you want to find out why. My name is Courtney. I'm one of the co-founders of Dandelion Branding, and we are a digital marketing agency that specializes in working with sustainably focused brands. We've also developed what we call the holistic marketing system. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how a holistic marketing system can improve your marketing efforts in general. So holistic marketing is an approach that pulls inspiration for your marketing from the rest of your business operations. You don't want to think of your marketing as something completely separate from product development or customer support or really any other part of your business. Updates on your projects, your business goals, all make great content and it gives your audience a really authentic glimpse inside of your business and how you run things, which is a much more transparent way of operating. And it's really kind of humanizes your brand in a way that allows for a lot more connection with your audience. Operating holistic marketing system really reduces the amount of time spent in sort of these interdepartmental conversations. You know, rather than having a bunch of different meetings that are all siloed and specific to one singular department, holistic marketing really seeks for your marketing to be a part of all of those conversations that are happening throughout your business. Taking the traditional approach just means that you'll be having likely more meetings and that might be repetitive. It also leaves room for miscommunication, right? If your marketing is outside of these sort of meetings where you are talking about the product, where you are making decisions about launches, about, you know, uses of products, about the development, about everything that went into that product. If marketing is not a part of those conversations from the beginning, there is definitely the possibility for things to be miscommunicated or lost in translation somewhere along the way. It's like a game of telephone. So holistic marketing really takes out a lot of those sort of unnecessary middle steps because your marketing department should be a part of the conversations. Secondly, holistic marketing really relies on data-driven insights. Oftentimes with larger companies, we see decisions made based on vanity metrics like view count or impressions or likes or comments. These are all sort of vanity metrics that are not necessarily tied to your other business goals, right? We view social media as a tool to get your users to your website where they can actually take action. The only purpose of making content for your business is to drive traffic to your website where folks can actually take action, make a purchase, complete the conversion of some sort. And if you're making goals about social media that are just based on these sort of vanity metrics, that can really lead your business astray right? You might be following trends, you might be growing an audience, but is that audience going to actually help grow your business? Sometimes yes, sometimes not. And lastly, because holistic marketing is more closely tied to your overall business goals, those goals are more long-term. You are not going to be making knee-jerk reactions based on, you know, if one singular post did or didn't work. That's not going to throw your strategy out the window. But if you were looking at marketing from a more traditional approach, you might feel inclined to do that. You might look at one post that really worked and say, okay, we got to lean all the way in and let's make only that. Or on the flip side, a post that didn't work, maybe didn't get as much engagement. And if you stop doing that type of post immediately after that first kind of test, you might be sort of seeing some biased data there, right? We really think that marketing changes should be given a fair amount of time in order for your audience to really kind of understand, reevaluate your marketing decisions on more, maybe more of a quarterly or a yearly basis rather than making decisions too quickly or on a whim. And, and again, I just want to stress that though something may not work according to some of the social media metrics, 
Though if those posts are driving traffic to your website, then it actually may work very well at meeting some of your business goals. So holistic marketing really looks at kind of weighing these options against each other. And we wouldn't make decisions based on strictly social media metrics if certain posts were actually contributing to meeting business goals. Traditional marketing would likely have to pivot, right? And there's more of a short-term focus on trying to, you know, get attention, trying to grow, grow, grow. That is not the approach of a holistic marketing system, uh, which are really built to run smoothly over a longer period of time and really build in authentic connection and retention throughout that process. It's a little bit of a different perspective than traditional marketing and ultimately your business is one entity. So your marketing should absolutely be focused on helping you achieve your business goals. If you are interested in learning more about holistic marketing for your business, please get in touch. Myself or my co-founder Ab would love to chat with you. A holistic marketing strategy is a great place to start in order to start developing these goals for your business that connect all of the platforms that you have a presence on and give you a really nice plan to move forward, how to show up on all of those different channels in the most effective and efficient way. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely stay tuned for more content around holistic marketing and I will see you next time.